when you go for the MRI, like, what, what are you thinking it is at that point? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, last year, I kind of had the same same sort of thing. Um, so, you know, obviously hoping for the best. Um, you know, I trust, trust the medical staff, trust the, the doctors, trust, you know, everybody involved. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel confident about the position that we're in now. Um, obviously, it's it's better than the worst case scenario right right now. So I'm um, just taking that with a grain of salt and you know, trying to move forward with it. Last year, you that was at the beginning of the season. You had something. End of the season. Yeah, it was yeah, about this about the same time. Yeah. And that wound up being a, just a sprain. Yeah, same I, around the same thing. I don't know exactly what it was off the top of my head, but it was around the same thing. I had to be shut down for a little bit, but got back in the game towards the end of the season. So um, felt really good after that and uh, carried it until now. So yeah. what quick was your ramp up process last year? So last year we it was 21 days after after it happened to be back in game. We also wanted to push it to make sure you know we don't want to. It's a case where you don't want to go in the off season with question marks really about it. So you also want to be able to test in, be able to get out in game, you know, and not really have any question marks in the off season to, you know, go into spring training with question marks really. So be able to get that in game and test it. That was kind of the goal for last year, and it seems like the same same thing for this year. So. Is this something you can just like manage, like much the rest of your career? Um, I don't know for sure. Um, you know, last year it's, it happened. Um, you know, it didn't have any problems with it after, and then this year it happened again at the same time. It's obviously frustrating. You know, it's, um, I want to be able to come out and help this team compete and win a World Series, and, you know, I can't do that throwing, you know, 80 innings and then being shut down in August. But at the same time, it's I want to be able to go out and compete at a high level for the whole season, and I know I can do that um, to, the best of the, to the best of my ability. And right now it seems like the best option is to do this right now. And so um, I'm taking that and, and running with it um, and doing my best that I can. What did they tell you about the severity of the sprain right now? It doesn't it, – the, the grade on it is very – it's cloudy because there is there's inflammation there, but at the same time you, it's – the grade's not – it doesn't seem like there's a like a for sure grade on it. Um, it. Just seems like there's inflammation around it, so it's tough to tell the exact grade of it. But uh, you know, we've got the we've got this time where two months. If I if I get this if I get an hour within two months from now, we I'll still be ready, you know, from for 2026 and beyond. But if, if you know if I'm able to push through and it feels good in game, you know, this is something that we can continue to ride and continue to be comfortable with um, going to position for next year. For, sure. for the you can. If you, you're saying if you can come back and feel comfortable with it, mm -hmm. you'll be good going into next year. Yeah, yeah that's definitely the, seeing what happens. That's exactly what happened last year, yeah. so that's the plan for this year as well. Yeah. And uh, along those lines, I guess it's cloudy, maybe you don't know, but were they able to tell you definitively whether there is no tear or a slight tear? What? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't mention a tear. They just mentioned it was a sprain. Yeah. Um, there was there was inflammation there. Um, so it's, I mean, with the imaging, it's hard to tell for sure. Um, but at the same time, you know, I feel good about the position that we're in. And this is, this also, the, I've dealt with this before, so I know I know the kind of the route that that uh, is to be expected for it. Um, you know, I'm excited to be able to go out there and try to help this team win, um, the best of my ability. Um, and for now, it's, I'm going to take it day by day, and uh, I'm confident with. You know, the information that we have now, and I'm being able to be able to take next step for that. Before last year, did you have any elbow problems in your life? Long time ago, I'd say maybe like high school or college, really, but nothing, nothing crazy. So, um, yes, yeah, I mean, people deal with soreness a lot. You know, this is something that you can manage, but obviously, surgery is the last option that you really want to have. So, um, if we can avoid surgery, that's the greatest, that's the best option to have for everybody involved. So, um, if I can take this and run with it and uh, feel good and coming in and test that in game, and that's that's obviously the best case scenario. Is there really getting something that's in the back of your mind at this point? No, I mean I've I've dealt with this I dealt with the same situation last year and I'm I'm it's it's definitely like I mean obviously it's a possibility for every pitcher, you know what I mean? But at the same time I'm gonna go out every single day and compete to the best of my ability and that's that's not a thought process at all when I'm throwing the ball. That's not a thought process at all when I'm going out and competing. Um, but I mean it, I mean yeah it's, it happens it, could happen to anybody at any time, but at the same time, I'm going to go out there and compete to the best of my ability, and that's that's what I that's what I'm going to do. What did you feel in the start? Um, nothing in the start particular, but at, at the end, it was a little tight. Um, just moving around felt just didn't feel right. Um, I wanted to say something because I, I dealt with this last year too, so um, I kind of knew like what to expect, and you know, it's it, was, it wasn't obviously ideal. You know, it's frustrating for sure, but at the same time, I'm able to go out and compete, and if, if I'm healthy enough, then I'm going to go out and compete to the best of my ability, and that's, that's what I plan on doing. Between coming back last year and yeah. that Marlins start, had you ever felt anything? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. You'll, you get a, you'll get another MRI before you start throwing? Or? No, probably not. Just to be able to test. I mean, we've, we've, we've got this two-month window where it's, you know, if, 
whether now or, or two months from now, it's, we were able to ramp that up and take that to the and push it and really see in game and be able to test it out. But yeah, I feel good overall right now about it. So I've, with the information that we have right now, it seems like the best option. Everybody's on board with it, so I'm excited about that. I guess given the timing, of, I guess where we're at in the season, you may as well try the rest of the rehab. Is what you're saying. Right. Yeah, I might as well try it. And you know, it's, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at the same time, I feel really confident about the the information that we have now, and, and, uh, and everybody's on the same page about it, and we're all on the same page about it. So I'm excited about that, and excited to take the next step in it for sure.